Hey guys, this is Torna, and today we're going to be discussing two things. Madam Web potentially coming, and potentially this is confirmation of her, um, at least as much confirmation as we usually get before they straight up announce the characters, but also something to do with potentially a, a new mutant team coming in, in not too long. I'd say potentially not the patch coming, but the patch after, which is very interesting, and this is like following a whole lot of leads provided by Boundless, so it's very likely that this is going to end up happening. But before we get into that, we have a quick advertisement from one of our sponsors. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Dragon Champions. If you love the look of classic RPGs like Warcraft and enjoy squad fighter games like Star Wars Galaxy Heroes or Marvel Strike Force, this game is for you. The developers have poured their heart out to create a fantastic game with an interesting, engaging story, energetic and fun dialogue, and easter eggs and references to all your favorite fantasy worlds. And best of all, they communicate with their community. With more than 60 heroes from the wild tribal orcs to the calm zen pandas, there's a faction that everyone can enjoy in the united fight against evil. The game is completely free to play and you can do everything without spending, but if you do want to spend, there are some amazing deals with some great value. My favorite thing is just the variety of balanced content available. You've got the expeditions where you can send your troops out to get resources back for you to be able to use. The tower that you can climb and challenge your roster. And even the tournaments where you're going to compete against people on your level for character shards. Now, the great thing is that developers are currently giving you an awesome starter pack if you are below level 15. Head on down to the settings and use the promo code TORNA. And that's going to get you 250,000 gold, 500 Draco coins, 500 energy, and a whole new hero, Corcoran. Not only that, but it supports my channel. So what are you waiting for? Head on down to the description and click the links to download the game and start kicking some ass. Good luck and see you there. Alrighty, so first up, we're going to be cover covering Madam Web. So there's two parts that are within this that I think are relevant. So the first one here is this Ethereal Arms um, milestone event. Obviously, they didn't actually announce who this is. It's weirdly bolded. Like, I, I have no idea why this is bolded. The only reason I can think this is bolded is because it was formerly known as a different event, which was the Spider Weaver event. Now, this is data mined as of like, not yesterday, I think the day before we data mined this, which means that it's very recent that they changed this. It's probably why this is bolded here. So, We've got basically two different names for the same event, Ethereal Arms and Spider Weaver. So at least in my opinion, this Ethereal Arms as well definitely points towards Madam Web. I know I was a little bit unsure about it yesterday, but this is pointing really hard towards it in my opinion, because if you have a look at her abilities, first of all, she's got a lot to do with like the spiders and stuff like that. Um, to spider women uh, tied into Spider-Man and all that kind of stuff there. But, 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 if you have a look at her abilities, she's got telepathy, she's got clairvoyance, she's got uh, astral projection, a lot of stuff that's very ethereal, ethereal, I don't know, someone tried to correct me on that, I'm pretty sure it's ethereal, um, ethereal arms, like, you know, a spider, <laughs> um, at least that's my opinion of what this is going to be um, and pointing towards that definitely makes sense. The other thing is that I think she's going to do some kind of beneficial um, beneficial battlefield effect. I talked to Benny about this yesterday and he said, hey, what if she's like in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, how they've got like those non-combatant characters? Because if you think of Madam Web, she's not really a combatant character. She's not really fighting or anything like that. She's like... She's like the the hermit Yoda. She sits in the background and helps out your heroes and stuff. What if she has a battlefield effect that she helps her team with? That would explain as to why Hulk, uh, the the Red Hulk here, does this part here where with his ultimate, he clears all the battlefield effects. Um then applies the battlefield effect gamma radiation. If that's a unique ability to him, it, it makes sense that she would apply a battlefield effect and then he's got like that counter there to be able to go up it, which makes me think that there's potential that unfortunately, unfortunately, these new web warriors, the vigilant, whatever team they end up calling it with Spider Noir, Spidey 2099 and Madam Web ends up being a war defense team. Um, 
which would obviously be a little bit sad, but it would make sense at least to me that they add in a battlefield effect that it, it makes a difference when he removes this battlefield effect here. Um, something like that. I don't know. It'll be very, very interesting. I, I'm very excited to see exactly what happens there. Um, Madam Web, I think, is all but confirmed now for that last uh, slot that we weren't sure about. Now, the second part of this video, talking about a mutant team coming in patch 6.5. So, if, if you haven't been keeping track of what the patches are, 6.4 is the coming patch, um, with so far no one can full-on confirmed Mr. Ne Negative, like, uh, the portrait shows up there, um, we're pretty sure the rest are either Web Warriors or the Vigilant team or whatever they end up using, uh, like, here... I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what exactly happens there as well. Um, although this would be a little bit early for this. So I don't know. We'll see exactly what's going on there. Um, either way, uh, we haven't got any confirmations as to what uh, that character, those characters are next patch, except for Red Hulk. And then the patch after is 6.5. So we're talking about the patch after where it's, it's so far out. We're like talking about a couple months out, probably not until October. This next patch would be um, probably sometime mid ish October. I usually keep track of it on my discord and have a prediction as to when the next patch will be. And I think it's going to be like end of October, mid October or something along those lines. So we're talking about that patch. If you haven't been keeping track in the events uh, here, these are the monthly events. Every time there's going to be uh, multiple different types of gear. Typically there is fully crafted gear and then there is, um, there is non-crafted gear. And I have been keeping track of those. If you have a look, well, they actually announce it here as well. There's teal mutant gear and his fully crafted gear. So fully crafted bio gear. Uh, so that's down here. You've got the augmented, um, where is it? Uh, augmented sliced uh, X genes there, cryptoplasms and ad adaptive pathogens. All mutant gear you can see here. Like, if I click on this, it's going to bring up all your different tiers, all these dif different mutants. I think this is all the mutants, um, because they all use gear, uh, 16 gear. Um, so, there's, like, two different types of gear. And this is what we've got so far. So, we've got Bio was obviously here. The crafted gear is always the character that it's intended for. So, Bio, Tech, Mystic, Mutant, and Bio again. So, that's always the character that is featured there. So, like, Spider-Woman's a Bio. So, therefore, you get her crafted gear from it. Uh, it was actually a little bit off because I think this was... I don't know. I think that one of these was wrong last time. And they'd, like, copy-pasted it across or something. But either way, then there is non-crafted gear. Now, this one's... We're taking a little bit of um, drawing the dot points here from a few different kind of uh, events here, obviously. Um, and we've got... So, this one here was first... Spider-Woman was the first one. Then we had mutant gear from that, which was related to, you know, the mutant team that came out not long after that. We had a mystic gear, and then we had mystic gear not long after that. Bio down here. And then we've got bio gear... Um, then we've got Deathlock with skill. Now, this one here is interesting because this team hasn't actually been confirmed yet. Uh, we've had a, we did a previous video on it, um, on this team with the rumors and stuff, but also we predicted this a little bit ago when we talked about um, actually Deathlock's event saying, hey, there's skill gear in here, which means it's most likely related to um, this skill um, event that's coming up. So from here, this team is very, very mixed. We've got, um, we've got, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Mr. Negative here, who's Mystic. Nobu, who's Mystic as well. Then two skill and a bio character. So we haven't had any skill key, gear characters like recently. Like the most recent were like Sif and um, Valkyrie. So it makes sense, at least to me, that they'd add in some skill gear right before adding a team that requires skill gear. I don't know. We've had the same bio, Mystic, etc. But, 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 <laughs> oh, also this team's going to be war offense. That's at least the rumors. This is from a main source. So I, I trust it a lot. Um, but mutant gear, mutant gear randomly popping up. Now there is possible. There is obviously a possibility that they've just decided to copy paste. Just being like, oh, hey, spider woman had this. Let's just put it down here. But to me, at least it's more likely that it's related to something that's coming up. So that way they add in that fear of missing out. So it, say, for example, 
death blocks events happening right now. If I didn't finish it, which I'm, I'm not going to because, you know, I'm lazy at times. Um, and honestly, I have a life, so I don't do all the events hard enough. Um, it's, you have a look, you've got like the skill gear here. If I missed out on that, which I'm going to, I will then feel bad about it next patch. Or if you missed out on the mutant gear here from Spider-Woman's event, then all of a sudden you feel bad because, hey, I needed to gear 17, the freaking uh, unlimited team, and now I don't have that gear. So at least to me, mutant gear coming from here is pointing towards a mutant team coming in patch 6.5 it's worked previously skill across bio i didn't actually make a video about here i probably should have because you know that kind of helps us predict what's coming next then so what mutant team we, we've talked about it we've talked about this for months we've talked about the rumors for this for months we've talked about the evidence pointing towards it we've talked about everything kind of pointing towards an angel team now whether this is going to be the team that i think it is or not i'm not sure but this is the team that i'm pretty sure that it's going to be based off of a number of theories and based off of rumors we've had rumors and theories um Sorry, rumors around Moira for quite a while. We've had r rumors about a rework to Psylocke for quite a while. In fact, these, this one here came from my main source. I said, hey, Psylocke's getting a rework. And then it didn't end up happening, which is the only thing that my main source has really ever been wrong about. So very, very exciting stuff. Uh, Rachel has been hinted at before. And then Nightcrawler been hinted at before. I am very excited about this. I'd love to hear from you guys as to what you think. Let me know down in the comments. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.